Hey guys, what's up? Shekhar Suman here, your success coach. And today we will discuss about a very important fact of your CSI net or GATE or any other competitive exam preparation and that is scientific studying. Now, the other day I, I made this video for Biotechnica Hindi channel and I said scientific studying and somebody asked how to do scientific studying. So, one very important thing which we have to learn from, you know, all the people who are really professionals is they learn the art of learning you know more in less time so for example if i say um, i have to study this particular chapter somebody will take eight hours but professionals will take less hours how do you become a professional learner okay a creative thinker a logical thinker and a professional learner that's what first we have to understand now one thing we all can agree on is the time which I will get for preparation is will be the same as you will get for preparation, correct? But if I say, okay, if both of us are getting the same time, why somebody is becoming a topper and why somebody is not able to, you know, qualify also? So the difference is not the books which you study. The difference is not also the coaching from where you took the, you know, study material or books. But the difference is efficiency. How efficiently you studied in that much hours, okay? So the formula which I always give to my students is there will be some guided studies say you took coaching so say three hours of classes in the coaching and then 1.5 times of that that is four and a half hours of your self-study combined together suppose 7.5 hours. But in that 4.5 hours of self-study how would you study so that, so that your efficiency is 100% all the time like a machine like you've seen a machine right it will be efficient efficiency will be 100 percent so for that what i recommend is you have to study scientifically now what is scientific studying is see you have been studying for all this while long time right and then by the time you reach this level where you have to start writing for competitive exam you basically get bored because you have already studied during your masters and then you have to read, repeat and re-repeat and try and solve so many questions and you know, the mind gets bored and a bored mind cannot enjoy studies and if you don't enjoy studies, you will not remember studies. It's like a movie, right? You don't want to watch the same movie again and again, right? But studies may aisa hota hai. You have to keep watching the same, keep, keep reading the same thing. So that is where creativity comes. So you have to use study tools. Now, I'm not asking you to buy any study tool. You can create your own study tool. Okay. So let's say you have studied mRNA and um, rRNA already. Okay. mRNA and rRNA you have already studied. But now today you have to revise. So what will be the regular procedure? You will take out the notes and try to memorize or try to recall. No, that's not how you study. Today you study in a different way. Maybe drawing it. Okay. So first is either you draw it or you compare it or you write some important words out of it out of your memory or probably you teach someone okay so these are the four scientific methods of revising teaching is also revising okay so either you get creative now the first part what is creative so Biology is all about imagination because you cannot go into the cell and check out, okay, what exactly is happening in the inside the cell, right? Same thing. So what you have to do? You have to draw, right? Draw extensively. Remember, the bridge between your long-term memory and the short-term memory is creativity, is how you draw when you, how you, you know, convert your textual memory to pictorial memory. So that is how you will remember longer. Your exam may happen six months, three months or five months later, but you want to remember it till that day, till that time, right? Minimum. So for that, you have to trick your mind and transfer all the things from short term memory to long term memory and uh, creatively you, have, you can do that by drawing things. Okay. So that's the first thing. The next thing, comparison, right? For example, you go to Amazon or Flipkart, you want to buy a phone. So what they do, they'll give you a comparison. Okay, this version Android, that version Android, or this Nokia, this Samsung, this Apple iPhone. So you can easily compare, okay, in this camera is four megapixel, there's 16 here, 32. Oh, okay, I'll go for the 32. Okay, but the battery is less here, battery is more here. So accordingly, you make a decision, right? The same way, but later on, when you try to recall, you'll realize that you know all the 
comparisons of all the phones now because you just compared same methodology you have to apply in your studies also what do you do so let's say uh, gram positive gram negative bacteria so you can compare right the same way if i say okay if i have mrna rrna or if i compare some uh, other things to this so basically comparison will help you if you remember this side of the table you will automatically remember this side of the table and that is a comparison way of studying the third is randomly writing some words some keywords from that particular topic let's say michaelis menten equation so now okay let me i studied two days ago let me try to you know uh, de derive it completely again so you derive it okay or you studied the uh, you know mitosis or meiosis so now try to recall all the important terms and terminologies of all the stages or maybe you said you studied cell cycle so you try to recall all the important words and write it down so that's another way of studying and the last part and the very important part is teaching how teaching helps you now teaching is not that you go you know passively and record a video and upload on youtube that is not that is a wrong way of teaching teaching is you ask a friend okay do you uh, want some help with this particular topic i can teach you i have studied he or she will say okay chalo padha do tell me you can teach me now you start teaching that person so while you are teaching your own concepts will get clear okay so these are the four ways you can scientifically study while you are preparing for competitive exams now why did i tell you all this because at biotechnica we do lot of research on how to study because we want to make our students life easier in fact i can tell you 16 more methods of scientifically studying but right now time is less so i told you only four but if you are a student at biotechnica we teach you in 20 different ways of scientifically studying so what happens now you remember better you recall faster you remember longer and then when you write the exam you will get through remember you should not just get through the exam you should get through the interview after that you should get through the you know phd after that right and when you study concepts in a scientific way you don't forget after the exam it remains with you forever for example if you start you know learned how to cycle a bicycle if you go today after 10 years also you after 5 minutes you will be able to figure out right because the brain transfers the skill of you know riding a bicycle from temporary memory to the long term memory and that is what you have to do don't just study concepts transfer it from long to short term to long term memory and then then see magic will happen in your preparation and remember the moment your brain is bored it will not allow you to take any more data and that is where you will fail or your marks will be low i don't want that okay so this is what i wanted to share today thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye